Here shares are valued under a different method to know the real value of shares while issuing the right share and bonus share to existing shareholder professional quality and competency of the top middle and bottom level of management personnel of the company the share has been or called value there are two method one is called net asset method another one called the yield method Hello my dear student, I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyasram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, in this session, I am going to have Corporating Accounting, Third Semester, Unit 4, Session 1, BCom, in favor of valuation of share. I am going to explain what do you mean by valuation of share, how the share will be valued. We'll move on now. Meaning of valuation of share. The process of knowing the value of the company share is known as valuation of share. The process of knowing the value of the company. Here shares are valued under a different method to know the real value of shares. Here we apply net asset method and profit basis method to know the value of share. I will explain these methods. Need for valuation of share. What is the need for valuation of share? Uh, so we want to know that during the merger, acquisition, amalgamation and reconstruction of the company, during conversion of one class of share to another class of share, this is where we need it. While implementing the employee stock option, while offering the share as security to raise loan for Assessment of wealth tax, excise duty and gift tax while issuing the right share and bonus share to existing shareholder while valuing assets and liabilities of the company. When a company is nationalized to decide the compensation payable to shareholder on acquisition of shares by the government under a scheme of nationalization where we need it. Factor affecting the valuation of share. Current stock market price of the share of the company, profit earned and dividend paid over the year, resources held by the company, reasonable value of net asset of the company, future prospect of the company, this is a point to be noted, current and deferred liabilities of the company, age and status of the plant and machinery of the company, net worth of the company. This is the factor affecting the valuation of shares. Factor affecting valuation of shares is history of integrity, honesty and efficiency of the board of directors and other key manager personnel of the company, professional quality and competency of the top, middle and bottom level of management personnel of the company, then performance record of the company, goodwill of the company, if you have got more goodwill, depends upon how the valuation share goes. General economic condition prevailing in the company. These are the factors to be taken into consideration. Now, but the, how the share has been what's called value. There are two methods. One is called net asset method. Another one called the yield method. Net asset method. Value of key share is equal to net asset divided by number of equal share. Then what do you mean by net asset? Total asset, book value or market value minus total liability minus preference share capital. First, total asset minus total is a total capital employed minus preference share capital. Capital employed for equity shareholder divided by number of equity share. Then, under yield method, first you take the average party. What is your average profit? Total profit divided by number of years. If 5 years profit is given, add all the 5 years profit divided by 5, you will get the average profit. From the average profit, first deduct the taxation, deduct the transfer to reserve, then any preference share cap dividend is there deducting, whatever the available profit that goes in favor of shareholder. First step to do this. Then, after this second step, then capitalize this profit. Capitalization profit is whatever the profit available divided by normal rate of return will get the value. Then market value of share 
capitalization of profit divided by number of equal share will get the answer what is the first step calculate profit available to equal share how to calculate average profit total profit divided by number of average profit out of the average profit first direct the taxation direct transfer to reserve direct preference dividend there is a profit available to equal share holder then capitalize the profit capitalization profit available divided by normal rate of return then market value v share is equal to capitalization profit divided by market value number of equity share we'll get the method so fair value method is equal to first one net asset method or we say that capital employed method the seed method divided by 2 we want the problem now so when the problem is given first these are all called the book values of a say this is the book value of the liabilities the plant and machine now worth rupees 60000 this is a market value then you have to take the market value building value of 1 lakh 30000 as valued by independent valuation rupees 5000 the data is to be taken as a bad date so out of the data how much is the bad date 5000 bad date is a loss to the company the profit of the company were 50000 60000 and 70000 it is a practice of the company to transfer 20% of profit to the reserve shares of similar company equity stock exchange 12% is a normal rate of return goodwill of the company may be taken as one lakh ignore tax sale find out the value share under debt asset method yield method and fair value we'll go one by one Net asset method. First, you have to calculate capital employed, market value of re all realizable asset, including the intangible asset. Good will also should be taken. Here, building is revalued one lakh thirty thousand. Land land and building valued how much money? One lakh thirty thousand. Machinery revalued is a market sixty thousand. Trade mark remains the same. Stock remains the same. Out of the data, five thousand is the bad debt should be deducted. Forty-eight and forty-three thousand. Cash at bank is twenty-five thousand. There is an independent valuation of goodwill to the extent of one lakh. If we add all these figures, it will come three lakh net. Three plus six nine eleven thirteen seventeen nineteen. This is three plus five yay. Three plus six nine eleven thirteen seventeen nineteen. Three lakh ninety-eight thousand minus all liability, credit or forty thousand, workman savings account twenty thousand, taxation reserve twenty thousand, totally eighty thousand. If we deduct no three lakh eighteen thousand, this is the net asset available to all the shareholder minus preference share capital. There is no preference share capital here, so all the profit goes. This is all the net asset goes in favor of the equity shareholder. Net asset method valuation of share net asset available divided by number of net asset available is three lakh eighteen thousand number of shares available is ten thousand it becomes thirty one point eight zero under net asset method. For total asset minus total IC total capital employed minus preference share capital. Capital employed for equity share. Come back to yield method. First, you have to calculate average profit. Profit of the first year is fifty thousand. Second year sixty thousand. Third year seventy thousand. Out of the bad debt five thousand sixty five thousand. Add the figure one lakh seventy five thousand five five plus six eleven seven divided by three years. It will come eleven <coughs> one lakh seventy five thousand divided by three. It is fifty-eight thousand three thirty-three. Appropriation towards the taxation reserve. How much it has been inverted? Out of that, twenty percent is transferred to reserve. Fifty-eight thousand three thirteen twenty by hundred. It will work out eleven thousand six sixty-seven. If we deduct this, no, it will come profitable to holder forty-six thousand six sixty-six. No fixed payable, no preference shareholder there. There is no no preference dividend. Whatever the profit available, go to equity shareholder. How much money? Forty-six thousand six sixty-six. This is the profit available. Now, capitalize the profit now. Capitalization of profit. 
profit available divided by normal rate of return into 100. What is profit available? 46.6 divided by 12 into 100. It will ever count 3,88,883. Then value of each share is equal to capitalization profit divided by number of e equity share. 3,88,883 divided by 10,000. It works out 38.89. This is as per yield method. So, statement showing fair value mean intrinsic value per net asset method, yield method divided to as per the yield, what's called net asset method is 31.80, as per the yield method is 38.89, add the figure divided by 2, it works out 35.35 is the fair value. So, how to do that? Under net asset method, total asset minus total liabilities total capital employed minus preference share capital capital employed to, to equity shareholder divided by number of market value to each share under yield method what's the procedure first find out the average profit what is the average profit total profit divided by number of year out of the average profit direct first taxation then direct transfer to reserve then direct the preference day that's a profit available to equity shareholder then capitalize the profit profit available divided by normal rate of return then market value each share is equal to capitalization profit divided by number of equity share you'll get the value fair value intrinsic value plus yield value divided by two hope you understand very easy very easy problem 15 mass question will come one question will come from the 15 mass. They will ask, so that date, they should be deducted from data R, they should be deducted from the branch, not RBD. If the RBD is given, only deduct from the data R, don't deduct from the profit. If the bad date is given, irrecoverable, deduct from the profit also, deduct from the data R also. So profit will also be reduced, your data R also be reduced. Total profit divided by number of years. Hope you understand. Very easy of doing that. First, you have to calculate the net asset method. Then you have to calculate the yield method. Both the methods should be added, divided by two. That's a value. Hope you understand. We'll have some more problem in the next. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class.